Bang ada ni saya faham gosip na, eh? Yes. I'll leave it. Alright. Oh, with a kiss. Okay. That's how you feel. And you see, living like a prisoner in my own house is never fun. You know, it's kind of like that thing when you say Bloody Mary three times and they appear. Somebody in my house done said Bloody Mary three times because she appeared. Luckily, I have a booking in Houston so I can get out of this nightmare. What you mean living like a prisoner? It feels like I'm a prisoner in my own house. But anyway, I'm leaving to go to Houston. Good, have good, right, right. Good. I mean, good. I mean, good, but in I'm my house, you have to sit on my couch, she said, It's not your couch. Before I leave this house, you should give me a genuine apology. I can't be apologized. I'm not doing no cartwheels for you. Leave me the f alone. Last year, my husband decided to meet with his mom to repair their relationship. But I didn't go with him because I still felt a certain type of way about how she never gave me an apology after our vow renewal. Wait, wait, hold on. Come on, come on. Come on. Please, please. Let me just, just, I'll see you later when you get back. All right? Listen, my booking is one day. You handle the kids. You handle your time. mother. This is some bullshit. I'm not rushing out of here. You're not going to dictate. Look, I'm moving the pillow. Have a good trip, Yandy. All right? This is some f***ed up crazy All right. I'm out of here. Ma, first of all, you came to this house. You didn't apologize. So you've been insulting her since you walked through the door. You know, a bigger conversation needs to happen. Okay, guys, I wanted to specifically talk about this episode from Love and Hip Hop, and I felt all kinds of triggered, so I wanted to get you all's input. Now, I hate to say this, but I'm going to say it, and I shouldn't say this, but I don't like Yandy, and I bet she's a nice person, but I Hopefully, y'all can see where I'm coming from. You know how you see somebody personality on TV and you don't really know them? You be like, I don't like them. So I feel like I shouldn't say that, but I'm saying it because that's the way I feel. But I know if I really knew her, I probably wouldn't feel like that because we all know TV is fake, right? They only show a little bit of who you are. So I'm going to go with that. So I don't like Yandy because... Her attitude, and when I what what I want to get into is, there's been multiple instances of interactions with his mother. Now, I'm not saying his mother is the best. I'm not saying she's the best communicator. I'm not saying any of that. But what I have learned as a mother and growing up, that is just how it is. Now, I'm not saying the mother should be disrespectful, but I feel like when you're dating someone's son, you should at least try to be cordial. To tell his mother that she never apologized to her, to me, is kind of stupid considering that his mother is now in your home and you running around like you have an attitude. That's kind of crazy for me. Again, I don't know because they haven't showed us everything, but judging from what they showed on the episode you know it, it it seems weird for yandy to be asking anybody for an apology and i'm gonna get into why okay um so basically she tells him he should handle his mother like you're really talking to his mother as if she is a child so that was so triggering for me then she said she felt like a prisoner in her own home with the mother sitting right there, I'm just like, this is too much, okay? Um, so, yeah, so she tells the mother she needs, she's never given her a genuine apology. And y'all know why this was just so triggering for me? Because I remember Yandy, okay? I remember when she first got into first, not got into, what am I saying? When she kind of first met Mendeecees, well, I don't know if she had first met him, but he was introduced to, you know, the television. And then we show, he showed us his other kids' mothers and honey, the way she dragged and treated them women to me was terrible because it almost seemed like Yandy wanted to make it seem like she was better than those women. And let's not forget this one thing. So do you guys remember Sam or Samantha? I believe she goes by the name of Sam. So this is one of Mendeecee's 
children's, his oldest son's mother. And if you guys have been watching Love and Hip Hop from the very beginning, you remember when they were arguing and um, Yandy had already had a, she, she basically had Sam set up. She had her cousin run from out of the um, audience and basically she just jumped on Sam. It was just out of the blue. Yandy set it up and then she lied and lied and lied and stated that she didn't know who the person was. But then it was found out by Love and Hip Hop that the girl who actually hit Sam was in fact related to Yandy. And that is her cousin who was just on this last episode wanting Yandy to carry her baby. So ever since that, I just had this disdain for Yandy because I'm like, how dare you, you know, you're married to him. His son looks to you as a second mother, but to have his mother beat up? Like, I just, I just could not, like, find myself liking her after that. And then to lie about it, it was just, just, I was just like, what type of woman this is? And then to see her go and march for Black Lives Matter after she does things like this, I mean, it just seemed to be a deeper hated, hate, hatred-like thing to just have somebody beat up. You know what I mean? Like if they're having an argument, it's an argument, but why do you need to have her beat up or why you can't fight her? So I just, I thought that was real nasty and low down. And then if you guys remember Erica, now Erica was Mendici's other um, son's mother. He has a few sons. Now I know you guys remember if you follow Love and Hip Hop from the beginning, she would say some of the nastiest most disgusting things to Erica. So I don't know what her conversations were with Mendeecees with regards to Erica, but she would tell Erica he hated, she would say, and he hated you. I mean, she would just tell Erica that she was like a floozy, a jump off. Like she would say some of the nastiest things. And I just couldn't understand why she would say those things. Well, I won't say I, I would, well, I didn't understand, but it just led me to believe that she was a hateful, very jealous person because there are women out here that get, they get upset by beauty of another woman. But the problem here though, is you're married to him. So for some reason, it almost seemed as though she had a problem with these two ladies, although they were no longer in relationships with her husband. And it's like when I see the relationship with um, Yandy and his mother, I see this same ugliness. It reminds me of the ugliness that she did with his son's mother. So the question that I have is what in the hell is Yandy's problem with all of the women in Mendici's life. It seems like she cannot get along with any of them. She does not like any of them. And it's starting to look like she is the problem. Now, this is what I want to say. This is what it's giving. It's giving that she is jealous. It seems like she does not want Mendeecees to have a close relationship with his mom. She most certainly do not want him to have any type of relationship with his son's mother. Now, I know y'all gonna say, how do you know this? I don't. I'm just judging by um, obviously the show and this is real reality. She really had Sam jumped on. That was real. If you guys Follow Love and Hip Hop, you saw it. You saw Sam get jumped on. If you guys follow Love and Hip Hop and you've been following it for a minute, you saw all the insults that she was, you know, telling, um, er I think it's Erica. I think her name is Erica. i um, telling Erica, which is the one that I have next to her, that she's such a jump down. And I mean, you gotta, 
look at it like this because this is how I looked at it. Sam is really beautiful. Erica is really beautiful. So I'm wondering, is there, it has to be some kind of jealous issue here. I mean, you would think she's married to him. Why is she jealous? But unfortunately there are women like that because I just didn't understand her disdain for them to when I'm just watching the episode and Mendeecees didn't seem like he was trying to talk to them or what the issue was. But then again, um, Erica did say that Yandy and her were both dating Mendeecees at the same time. So I don't know. But there are also women who likes to compete for the mom's attention. So I feel like Mendeecees is really... Um, Pretty much, you know, seems like him and his mom has a good relationship, but it seems like when it when it comes to Yandy, it seems like it gets very, very cloudy. So I don't know. You guys let me know what you guys think in the comments. I just, she just seems to me to be someone with a really nasty soul. Of course, she portrays on TV like she's this good person, but we can always tell who people are, how they interact with the people that is placed in their lives, opposed to the people that you're on TV trying to present for. Um, so like I said, I always you know, had an issue with how she did Samantha. Because my thing is, if you really, really love Mendeecee's son, you would have never done that to his mom. So again, when I saw this episode and I saw the way that she was treating his mother, and it seems to be a constant thing, you know, and then basically telling her she needs, needs to apologize. Girl, when you you just apologized to Samantha, what, eight years later, and you didn't even apologize correctly. So again, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you all in the next video.